In today's Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite, absolute favorite passing concepts uh, from Trips Tied In in Madden 22. This is a, uh, a simple two by two passing concept. And what I wanted to do with this is show you how you can run Trips Tied In in multiple different directions. You can have it as trips to the left, you can have it as trips to the right, but you can also through motion turn this formation or turn this offense into a five wide set. You can also turn this into a quads personnel set. And the cool part about it is you can also turn it into a standard two by two doubles type of passing set, which we're gonna talk about how to do that in this video and why it's beneficial uh, to do just that. Now, if you're new to the channel, I wanna ask you to go ahead and to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And again, it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release here every single day on the YouTube channel. And today we're talking in particular about a concept that I'm super jacked about called the Y crossing concept. We're gonna be leveraging the power of the fade out out of a two by two look that I think you're gonna really enjoy. This is something that's gonna make your PA counter go play significantly better in terms of a motion over setup. And I'm really, really excited to share this with you. So we're gonna be utilizing the play PA counter go from trips tied in. And what we're gonna do with this play, real quick before we do dive into this, I do wanna let you know, if you wanna get all of my Madden eBooks, the trips tied in is one of them, in addition to any updates to those guides or any new guides um, that we will release in the Madden 22 season, please join my Patreon membership. That's a that's a membership that is only $10 a month. And again, you're gonna get access to every eBook, every update, and every new eBook while your membership is active. So it's a great deal. We've got 18 guides over there right now, and we've got a ton more on the way. So if you wanna get better at the game, that's the best place to start. 10 bucks a month unlocks everything. If you wanna sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. Now, what we're gonna do from this Y cross type of concept is we're gonna put the backside receiver, Mike Evans, on a smart routed dig, okay? Smart routed or 10 yard in route. Um, if you want to, you can put him on a five yard in route if you like the spacing better that way. I personally prefer a 10 yard dig or a smart routed in. If you can't do a smart routed in, then I would advise that you actually take the slot and put him on the curl and then you can go ahead and motion Evans, okay? But generally speaking, we're gonna put Evans on a smart routed in route. We're gonna then motion uh, Scotty Miller all the way across the formation to the right side of the field, and we're gonna put him on a fade route. So you see here, and this is what I was talking about. We're gonna be leveraging the power of this fade in combination with this quick out to Rob Gronkowski. Now this quick out to Gronkowski, um, to the tight end out of this, is really, really good against man coverage. If they're gonna run man coverage, this is the route that you wanna have on the field. It's one of the best man beaters in the game. And it's also gonna be something that we're gonna be able to leverage um, that's going to open us up a lot of space over the middle of the field for Chris Godwin uh, to be able to work in that crosser. The beauty of this, you don't need Hot Route Master or anything, but from a zone perspective, we're gonna read this basically like this. We're gonna read fade to out to crosser to backside dig. Fade, out, crosser, dig. Fade, out, crosser, dig. So we're gonna go fade, no, out route, Okay, nope, not there. And now we high low that defender and you see the crosser gets wide open. If you wanna put the tight end on a five yard out, you are more than welcome to do that if you like that spacing better. I personally can't tell you enough how much, if it, if it is shorter, like let's say I'm in a second and five situation, I'll typically will actually uh, smart route that route to get it to go a little shallower. But what you'll see here is it does such a good job at pulling the zones to the outside of the field. Now, I want to also say real quick that most people in Madden are going to have those purple zones on that left side or right side of the field on the five yards or less because they're going to be trying to stop your running back for a quick out, which we can also do concepts like that, which we will show that later on, um, or we will show that as an inverse to this in just a second. But they, they will play hard flats, I promise you. And so if they are playing hard flats, what you can do here is, again, it's just going to further open up that route right there, which is gonna get over the top of pretty much every zone in the game, except for a 30 yard cloud flat. Now when they go to purples out of a cover three zone, uh, same exact concept. So again, we're just motion this guy across. And this is really, really good against match and main coverage, which I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. But what you'll notice is fade, no, out route. Now I'm looking, I can low ball that out route, as you can see. And that's what's interesting is that out route right there because of the fade and because of how the fade is gonna pull um, pull most of the zones out of the way for you, 
this out route is going to be something that you can actually utilize fairly consistently. So again, you're going to get this right here. Watch the cloud get pulled, get pulled, get pulled. You can actually throw that in between the zones, which most people don't do, but you certainly can. Now, I have to also remember within this play that there is a 30-yard cloud flat. Now, the best way to show this is actually to show this out of a Tampa 2 because most of the time they're going to do something like this where they're going to have a hard flat and they're going to have a cloud flat. The problem is they're not going to have a yellow zone. And that's where the roundedness of the out route and the fade together is going to make this really worthwhile. What you're going to notice here, the fade, and there's so much space now to throw that route right there right out, right out the gate. So the user gets caught in a position where if they're double flatting, um, they're in a little bit of a bad spot because if they're double flatting out of this, they have to make a decision. Are they going to guard the tight end or are they going to guard the crosser on the act, what I call the access throws? What I mean by that is they're just quick. You snap the ball, they're open um, because of the, the zone coverage. So what you're going to see here is you see, look at that tight end. Look how he's immediately open there. And then now backside, there's a lot of room to throw Mike Evans wide open as well, okay? So it's a very, very good system that works off of one another. Now, let's say, for example, that they start bumping their zone drops back. So they're wanting to say, well, we just don't – we want to make you have to take the underneath. So we're not going to play hard flats. We're going to play purples. If you start to get a lot of that in this concept, my advice would actually be to block your tight end. St still streak Scotty Miller, but you have great protection – Block your tight end and then put your running back on it out. And what will happen is if they don't have hard flats, that is going to carve them up for an easy five to seven every single time. Literally every single time if they don't have hard flats, that concept is going to be there for you. And you can certainly count on that um, as a simple, easy way to beat the coverage. Now, like I did say before, this route to the tight end will crucify match coverage. Out routes in general are very difficult to guard in match coverage, which is really the fade out concept in general. But what you're going to notice here is that that out route typically will get wide open to the outside. Didn't quite get the separation I wanted. Let me show you that one more time. And again, this is cover four quarters um, in terms of how this match coverage is going to work. And again, we're forcing them to have to play 30 yard zone depth in their um, or zone drops to be able to defend that crosser. But what you'll see here, just low ball, you see that out route just as a great little check down for you over the middle of the field. So now let's come back to the zone drop conversation for just a second. And let's say that they are playing zone drops on both sides of the field. Typically speaking, uh, what that's going to entail is there's going to be somebody that's in the deep zone. So let's just to, to kind of try to give us a, just a little broad of an example. We'll do something like this out of cover two. And what I want you to notice here with this is the backside dig. We, should, we already showed the tight end. So they're going to have to go guard the tight end, right? Now I want you to watch the backside dig uh, to Mike Evans and the crosser in terms of an access door. So if they go to the right at the snap of the ball, the user goes to the right against a double Mabel setup, you can throw right there. Real simple, real smooth. So you have a nice little access door right across your face. You snap, he goes right, you throw right over the middle of the field. Now, another thing that I didn't talk about yet about cover two, because we're running this with the ball on the hash mark, the left of screen uh, hash mark, or we're running this because we want to run our crossing route from the short side to the, to the wide side. So if we're on the left side, we'll run, uh, or the left hash, we'll typically run this. If we're on the right hash, we might flip the formation or we might run something different in general. But what you're going to see now is once this corner or wide receiver gets on top of the corner, there's a good chance that you can hit that window over the top. And that's why I like to fade him instead of streak him because it makes it a lot easier of a throw. Let me show you that again. So, again, I'm going to motion. Um, I'll just show it out of Mike Evans, but it's basically the same thing. And like I said, if you ever get in a position where, um, for whatever reason, the in route's not working, you can use this curl. And if they're running a lot of double flats, that's not a bad idea in general. But what you'll see here, you just pass that to the right. If you get in trouble, you can aggressive catch that. I got a terrible release from Mike Evans, so let me show you that one more time. So, again, Tampa 2, boom, boom, and then I'll motion uh, Scotty Miller all the way across on a fade. It's really actually simple from a route perspective, too. You're just a couple hot routes, and then you're done. He gets outside leverage. Once he gets on top, pass lead outside, click on, and as you can see, you beat the cover 2 over the top for a one-play touchdown. Now, if you have Hot Route Master or Outside Apprentice, 
I want to give you one last little bonus setup. This is primarily for people that are running a lot of man or people that are running a lot of cover two. This is a great setup for them um, if they're going to want to run some of that stuff. And basically what we're going to do is we're still going to run that deep dig to Mike Evans. But now instead of a streak to Scotty Miller, we're going to motion him to the right. And then we're going to put him on a smart routed post. So you see this is what the play looks like right here. What you're going to see is he's still going to serve as a clear out route for that other route. But now against the cover two, you can oftentimes pass me that straight up and have a chance to hit that over the top of a cover two defense. So that's why I like to do that. Um, again, real, real simple. And then again, the curl concept. This is this is more so for Mabel. Like again, if you're getting a lot of Mabel coverage, this is a great play because you're gonna basically again you're just leveraging the curl. So you've got the curl there, and then you've got this fade from Mike Evans. It's already kind of built into the play. You can even motion snap him if you want. But you see here your curl, and then you can kind of playmaker it open as you want to. Very nice little route for a check down. So this play is real simple, but it's really, really effective, especially from a two-by-two two formation that's going to attack the field. Because what we've done is we put the strength of the field to the right. So they may be in anticipating that you're going to come backside with a left-side route combo. This is still a right-side concept. And the cool part about it is it gives us a lot more balance in our passing game, which is why I like it a lot. Now, thank you guys for watching the video. Remember, if you want to get all of my Madden eBooks, in addition to that, get every update to every eBook and any new eBooks that I will release in the course of the Madden 22 season, join our Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month. It literally gets you access to over 18 eBooks with updates, um, the most up-to-date version of those eBooks as well. So if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description below. Head on down to the description of the video. Click the link that I put down there and you can sign up for the Patreon for just $10 a month.